Mine in the middle of the top Stuck down here in the parking lot Mine in the middle of the top yeah. Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Pat Bowles with another round productions sitting here at Pat Dan Bowles Studios ADB. in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Is that where we are? Yeah. I just followed you for a while. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere, folks, if you haven't been there. Um, and as you heard, I'm sitting here with Kevin Burgess who decided to come out here to sticks to my place and we're going to do a little recording out here. Yeah, dude. Um, you actually took me to this. I might be a little sluggish. Uh, I ate a lot of bacon. I had some bacon ice cream, some bacon wrapped bacon. Everything with bacon, it's in my stomach right now. If you're ever in Concord, Crispy's Bar and Grill, I'll throw a plug out there for free because they're that's that my good. jam. They're, they're so good, guys. Crispy's is where it's at. Uh, they're going to be on the Travel Channel. Check them out. It was delicious. And maybe one day they'll give us some free food. Yep. And today, now that we're good and full, we're going to bring you the <laughs> Downtown Urban Open out of Cary, North Carolina. Yeah, this is a really cool event. I think it's in its fifth year. Uh, fifth year doing it. Uh, started when we started the Salute and the Bradford Open, so we're all kind of in the same realm. But they get a lot of support in Cary. Uh, what they do is they take a community center and put a lot of you know safari holes on the community center. So you're going to see over the street, into parking lots, uh, temporary baskets, you know, 28 chain baskets, a really good, um, really good community and really good players. Yeah, and it definitely shows how good the court tournament is because they fill up in minutes. Yeah, they got us beat, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, well deserved too, and it's around Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's a good weekend. So, and today we have some really good players here to watch and in tied for first place. Who would have thought North Carolina, Barry Schultz at 14 under par. Yeah, 14 under is a hell of a score, and Barry Schultz is always shooting par. And he played that first round blind, so. He's never played this tournament. No, he never played it. 14 down 20 holes. And in second place, uh, lefty out of High Point, North Carolina at 14 down. Or I mean, tied for first. Tied for really? first, yeah. yeah. The lefty out of High Point, North Carolina is Mitch Dickens. I think this is the first time Mitch has been on, on an another round productions uh, lead card here. Yeah, so if, you don't, if you don't count out all disc golf. Yeah, that, it's a so, separate yeah. entity back in the day, but yeah, you've yeah. filmed him before. Yeah. So you've seen him play. Um, Pat says he's a good player. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, very consistent. Uh, doesn't have the biggest arm, but he doesn't need it because he's a very consistent, solid player. And now, big arms with a big forehand out of. Um, I don't really know where he's from. I mean, the Duke can throw. Yeah, Duke can throw. Uh, 13 down, Lance Brown. Lance MFM Brown. His forehand, I mean, it's all we always talk about his forehand because he probably has like 500 pounds. Oh, yeah. um, but his backhand's good. Backhand's good. And of course, like this, you need a little bit of balance. I wouldn't be surprised. You see more backhands than usual from Lance. And then in fourth place, out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Nate Tomlinson at 12 under par. Yeah, that's a name. Uh, local guy. He doesn't travel much outside of the Raleigh Cary area, um, but he's a force out there, and not a flashy game, um, but we might see a flashy game today. Yeah, I, mean, I hope so. Yeah. I'm just ready for some fireworks, man. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, also at 12 under to complete our fivesome is Ryan Kinney out of Concord, North Carolina, Fred Flintstone himself. Yeah, we give him a lot of crap all the time. We're, you know, we're good friends with Ryan, so don't take it too seriously, but you know, other than, other than the fact that he's terrible. He's always on a lead card, <laughs> so he might he's not terrible, yeah, and he's two true. strokes off. Yeah, so. maybe Maybe he'll win one one day. No, we're just getting crap, dude. Um, and they're going to take off on hole number one. It's a 193-foot par three. Um, Mando right of the first big tree you see there. And it, there's no big road behind it, but it really doesn't come into play. Pretty straightforward starting. Uh, it's a must-get. I, I think it's a must-get. Uh, the elevation change and the low ceiling make this hole trickier than it probably should be. Um, but it looks like that's the shot from Barry. Yeah, it's just smooth and a nice little baby rock out there. Not really a low ceiling. It forces you more right, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a wide. You got Mitch. He's the left. You're going to attack it with a forehand. That makes sense. Probably dump a Firebird. Or, uh... yeah. A little early, but it should work. No, he's parked. <laughs> you don't have to throw too far on this one. Got Lance Brown. He was throwing a little bit of a more mixed bag than usual. What's he usually throw? Uh, he's usually throwing a lot of in but uh, he just got picked. He was getting picked up by Prodigy, so he was starting to work them into the bag this week. Cool. It's really interesting watching footage from this because you know my parents' house is you know, half a mile away from yeah. this. Kind of neat. Nate going a little deep, challenging that road. And you got Ryan Kinney going his own. Yeah. 
That's, yeah, that's a mistake you don't want to make. Yeah. He's going to put it right up there for his three. I mean, start off uh, it happens. And yeah, big putt from Nate Thomason. Like a 20 footer or so? 25? No, it was a step putt. It was, about, it was outside the circle. Was it wasn't really. Yeah. Nate plays really quickly, so it took me some getting used to to catch up with him. There are a few guys like that out there on the courses. And, um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. I think uh, MJ was talking about how he actually thinks about the cameraman. So it was Barry. It was a Barry was yeah. talking about. It. Barry thinks about the cameraman. He knows that the cameraman's there, so he actually slows his routine down. Yeah. Because he's on film. And so everybody getting a birdie except for Ryan and. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we're, we're all off. we're off, and um, it's too bad, you know. Ryan, like Ryan's probably kicking himself a little bit, but twenty holes. There's nineteen yeah. more to go. This is a neat little hole, a little downhill at the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. There are a about. lot of birdies on this course, and hole number two is 168 feet. If you go 169 feet, you're going well <laughs> past the basket. True. Um, it's hanging over the top of a uh, little slope there, and it requires like a little bit of smoothie. Yeah, I mean he barely threw it. He's way past. Exactly. And you almost want that putt back up. It's you don't necessarily want that big death putt. I don't think. True. Nate or uh, Mitch is gonna have that death putt. Probably about a twenty-five footer. I know sometimes a popular shot here is a little thumber. Yeah, uh, Schwebby will do that. He used to do that. He used to sit down in the corner by the building. He'd throw it as hard as he could into the building. Oh, just smash it. And just okay. smash it. I think he still does throw a little leopard thumber though. Surprised not see. Was he not playing this tournament? He, he was not. on second card. Wow, that's a shock out here. Yeah, this is a big tournament for him. See, Ryan just gets a little flare. You get just over that hill, you're going way down. These guys can make that putt though. They're good putters. Jinxed there. I did a lot. When you watch football, they're like, "Oh, he has a missed a missed a field goal inside of 50." What a putt! Great putt from Mitch Dickens. Weak side too, but he got that yeah, little that'll, low love. That'll put him in the lead over Barry. There's Ryan. That's his strength. I mean, we've seen it time in and time out on, on these courses that you filmed. And such a sweet player. Solid put by Nate. What's the etiquette on a swinging basket? You stable the basket after you make the putt? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You don't want to be a complete jerk. I'll remember that for my next round. Start shaking it back and forth. Yeah. No, I was thinking about doing that. <laughs> And uh, after hole two, Barry, the lone par, uh, Mitch taking the lead. Uh, this, wow. this course really fits Mitch, get Mitch's game. I mean, just accuracy and solid putting will get you a long way out here. True. And uh, hole number three is 128-foot par three. It is a hard left to right. I mean, very, very tight. Uh, it's right up on the building, and there's all kinds of obstacles up here that you don't usually see on a disc golf course. Uh, walls, poles, <laughs> curbs, all gymnasiums. kinds of stuff. Yeah, gymnasiums. <laughs> And so it's a giant spike hyzer for a lefty. Yeah. You know, as you're seeing there. For it's Mitch. And even as that lefty shot, it's hard to get it that far right. Like you said, it's an unnatural turn. It's almost a better right hand and backhand. Almost. Whew. Lance giving it a good run. That yeah, was. I know this hole's been aced several times. Yeah. There is Nate. Is that Nate there? Yeah, he's he's probably about a fifteen footer. And these guys are they're throwing really high because you have to get around that building. It is difficult. Even if you end up on the road, you can still get a putt. Yeah. Short of the basket is. Ooh, Ooh basket hit from Barry. He had no idea. No. He had no idea. Who put that flag there? That's fortunate too. Yeah. That was a good kick. characteristic there yeah. something you'll see quite often uh, out here that's interesting is that when they're putting around this concrete solid putt by Mitch good birdie um, when they're putting around this concrete you'll see a lot of slide aways and so these guys that putt really hard like Ryan hey now. get a lot of long comebackers and that's a good putt too right there because it's an uncomfortable he had to adjust his normal putting routine putting stance to go over that rail but yeah you're right especially Ryan out here yeah Maybe spin putters, you get a lot of spin on this road, and next thing you know, it's going way away. And uh, Barry taps in his age run. Yeah, great run by Barry. And um, 
Mitch maintaining that one uh, one stroke lead. And I mean, the first round scores were fourteen under and fourteen under, so you know, one stroke goes a long way at this tournament. Yeah, you need some muskets. And this what is are we the looking at here? this is the <laughs> hardest forty two foot hole you'll ever play, Mando. You have to go about where Bobby Hinn is standing up there. You got to throw up there and get into the gap in the baskets just on the other side of it. So. <laughs> Uh, it's it's a signature hole out here. Yeah, it, it really is. It's kind of gimmick. It's kind of weird, but it's not. It something can ruin your round quick. Yeah, and we do have two cameras on this hole. Wow! Big thank you to Caitlin, uh, Caitlin Dickens, Mitch's wife, for holding the second camera for me down there and watching these guys throw. Ooh! He caught the top of the roof. I know there's been some people that can catch that and then bounce back. It, yeah, it's unfortunate when it happens, but I know it can happen. You'll see so many different plays here. Essentially, power doesn't matter. Yeah. Throw it in the gap. Most people try to throw it right at that ceiling and just kind of let it fall down. And uh, I want to see like a 360. <laughs> lot, this is a popular play, the tomahawk or thumber, mm -hmm. and just kind of get the pan in there. Ooh. Oof. But you got – you're so touchy. Yeah, Nate struggled on that one. Yeah. Lance, oh. second shot he's able to get right up there. Oh, that was Lance? Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. You're fine. And jump putt. Yeah, Ryan opted the jump. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, I foreshadowed that. I've never seen the footage. This is hit the ceiling and came right back out. That's really unfortunate. I just do it again though. So one thing I did. T <laughs> now, one thing I didn't talk about is that they are not getting stroke penalties on this hole. It okay. is, it it's is like just, a sand trap. It's just thing. distance. Okay. So right now he's throwing. That was his three. So, so he'll take a bogey. Yeah, he's going to take a bogey on this hole. And on the concrete, you get rolls for days. Just never know when it's going to stop. And they all made their they putts. all made their putts. We're moving on to the Pat's next tired. You're tired from running up the stairs. Yeah, I did. I did sprint up those stairs. <laughs> um, and they're all they all made their putts. Ryan taking the unfortunate bogey. Um, that hurts out here. Yeah. And hole number five is a 274 foot. Uh, par three it is probably my favorite hole to throw on the course because you never get to play on a complete concrete service and aim at a van. This is a really fun hole because 274, so you actually have to put some power on, to, on it because it's so low. So you have to throw it low. You have to miss the random car. <laughs> Did they put a fence around the car? <laughs> they have a baseball pitcher's screen. Do not have the keys to it? It's time I to guess carry. not. I don't know. Uh, you just don't want to end in the corner of death. Right, right there. there. Oh, oh, but a solid kick. If you land in that corner, it is just hard to get around there. It is. It is. That's a really, really great, great kick. Yep. And, and it's hard to throw it straight here. You don't realize, mm -hmm. you know, the natural, obviously the natural fade on the disc is left. But when you're throwing on ice or concrete, it's hard left. Yeah. You throw something understable, eventually it'll slide out over there. Barry just... So yeah. really perfect shot. It's just right there around that corner, hanging in the rafters. And it's putting a lot of angle on that. He did. He's going to be in the corner of death. Oh. I mean, there's nothing you can do there. Yeah. I know there's a little gap in the bottom. You can slide it through. <laughs> I remember Dave George was there once and had to yeah. do that. I've seen, yeah, Max Kronz as well. Oh, Ryan's on around there. He may have got a little hot around that corner. That's better to do that, though. Yeah. The edge doesn't really come to play there. It looks like it does. You're not going... <laughs> you're not taking the elevator down if it does No. Lance was able to get enough kickoff. He was got a little turbo putt. Wow. The fact that he even got a putt from that is... Fortunate. Yeah. He's mad, but he's more mad at that drive. Yeah. And there you go. You talked about it there. That concrete is really unforgiving. Yeah. But he's a good putter. He's a heck of a good. He's a heck of a putter. One of those long putts for par. He always talks about. Yeah, we played with him today. He goes, "Man, I hit so many par putts." <laughs> so, yeah, you do. Solid birdie from Mitch. He's playing really hot to start off this round. I don't think he's missed one yet. No. Barry can hold pace though. Yes, he can. He's only missed one. Oh, 
that's top of top and under. I just love this hole. I don't know what it is about the low ceiling and the idea of throwing on the concrete. It's just if you're it's the one it. I look forward to the most on this course. And really? yeah. More so than some of the other parking deck holes we're yeah, about to see. I love that one. Okay. Um and Barry and Mitch taking the birdies, uh unfortunate skip away from Ryan, but right, we've got a lot of separation in this card too. I mean five holes in. Hole number six, a 263-foot par three. This is a tough one. It's is a double mando one? between two light poles. A lot of people will lay up just short of that wall where that last picture was, and then they'll toss up. Uh, the basket's just hard to get to. It's really, really strange. Um, you'll see a lot of plays. You'll see people do this, uh, dump it over, slide it up for the next one. Really not putting for that that birdie. You'll see... Uh, you see some people who just not even go for that off yeah. the tee and then cut back on the angle. Because it is almost parallel with that first light pole. You it have is. to go past that first light pole. So. And there's no real reason to take that risk. They all are going for it, though, and trying to get that putt. Nobody, uh, it doesn't look like anyone's super close there. Interesting touch shot. Mm. Pretty fun. Yeah, he'll have a good touch shot. And, yeah. it's par. and Ryan playing the smart play go. and not going for the Mando. He's just going to... Try and get a putt from down low. A little tricky to film this, huh? Yeah. You got to get the player and the basket <laughs> between the guys. Solid putt from Ryan. See, Good even luck. there you get a good run. And up here you got to worry about that slide away. Barry. Yeah. I mean, that's not how Barry putts. Mm -hmm. you know, he would never up. putt like that. Good nose up stall to give it a little run. See if Mitch can keep it going. Oh. Good roll. A little long, but yeah, he did get a fortunate roll on that hole. He did, and that would have been a really good time to pick up another stroke, too. Yeah. So we're just going to tap out for pars. It's just a hard hole to get a two on. I think Mitch got one the first round. What did he hit, like a 35, 40 footer or something? No, I think it was inside the circle. Really? Yeah, he said That's he threw really a forehand and kept it really tight on that light pole and it got around there. Is there so. a drop zone on this hole? I believe so. Okay. It's a little farther up. Okay. So um, now we're going to my favorite hole here. Yeah, hole. Um, after that, all pars, and you get to look forward to this big off the top of the park uh -huh. and deck hole. Um, a lot of people think this is the signature hole in the course. It's and not it's, the best design hole, but it's just so cool. Yeah, 269 foot par three. It's off the top of the park and deck and goes down to a basket down in the trees, and uh, it's just a big. They're off the top. You'll see everything. You'll see thumbers. You'll see backhand spikes, forehand spikes. Oh, they got a pad up there now, huh? Yeah, it's a nice little platform. Oh, wow, that's going to scare me even more. And that's, like a no, that's a Nova from yeah. Mitch. Nova doesn't know anything other than oh. He gave it a heck of a run. That is right next to the basket. Wow. I was scared before the platform, by the way. So I, with put a platform, I'm afraid I'm going <laughs> to die. You're like 35, 40 feet up in the air up here. But the platform does let you throw over that wall a little it better. Does. Like before, that wall was so much in your yeah. So it gives you a chance, solid backhand from Barry, and... That looks like a really good, really good throw. Caught up on something in those trees. That's kind of the problem with the Heiser route, is just you sometimes you get caught up in that big cedar. Big forehand by Lance. Surprise. He got caught up a little bit, but he should have about a 25-footer. And Ryan... Just lining up a thumber. Thumber with a flick. I think that's the play on this hole. If you have it, just putting a big thumb around there. He's inside the circle. Is he really? Mm -hmm. He didn't even like it. Come on. Oof. He's dangerous with a step putt. Is he? Yeah. I mean, you didn't even get him on film that first that first no, one. So. He's dangerous. He's quick and he's dangerous. That's a good bird. Yeah, solid putt from the knee. I just think the thumber coming in that angle, you don't have to worry about that cedar. You might as well. You're dropping it in. Yeah. You know, you're not swinging the left and right. Yeah, solid birdie from Barry. And Barry picks one up, doesn't he? Don't give that. No. Don't, be, don't be upset with Mitch. Yeah, Mitch taking that uh, birdie. Yeah, uh, he parked. He was the first one to throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> ran, he almost got it. an ace. He almost picked up one on yeah. Barry. Yeah, what you talking about, Barry? <laughs> so, uh, Nate Thomas in the lone par. Um, you know, Mitch still keeping that lead and mm -hmm. solid battle for. Uh, 
Solid battle for third there as well. Is Barry wearing headphones? Yes, he is. Okay. You yep. never know, Barry. Hole number eight, 324 foot par three. Kind of a low ceiling. Just want to get through that gap over that hill, and the basket's just on the other side of that parking lot. Is that parking lot OB? No. Okay. There is very little OB on this course. Okay. That's kind of the fun of it. I remember this being a like deceptive hole. Where you think you're there, but you're not. Yeah. Button. You end up a little bit short. Sometimes. Right, but it's up there. Oh, look at that shirt. Yeah. It took me a while to notice. What's your favorite shirt? It's a yeah, it's a sweet shirt. Barry's gonna be a little left of the pin. Yeah. Um, Mitch is a little right, so it's just almost directly behind the big maple. Big tomahawk from Lance. Yeah, you'll see you'll see these guys do that. He got caught up in that tree, unfortunately. You know, Terry Gallus would always go big thumber here. Yeah. And that's a big thumber because you're trying to get that height really yeah. late. 324 uphill, too. Uphill. I believe that's a Buzz GT from Ryan. It's alright. Not too bad. No. His and form reminds is... me of Kale. Yeah. So I don't know why. It's something about it. It's not a big reach back. You know, but he just keeps it really compact and powers through it. Ryan from about 35. Maybe 40. Uh, yeah. What did I tell you about those grenade shots, man? That was a, that was a really good yeah. putt. You can hit those from anywhere, man. Solid putt from Lance. Here you go, Lance. Knocking it down. That was a big moment for Barry. Yeah. Outside the circle, a little step putt. To not to lose one more, you know, yeah. potentially. Oh. Tough and, angle with those branches in the way. Yeah, Mitch had had to change his stance, too. And, it and unfortunately for Nate there, he had a little distraction. Someone actually farted <laughs> during his putt. That's I heard about this. I didn't know that was the putt. Yeah, I oh, should have wow. warned you. That was it. He. I was, I was going to do some sound effects, but uh, yeah. I missed it. He 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 got he got a fart in the middle of his putt there from one of the other cards nearby and. Uh, <laughs> from another card nearby. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it wasn't even one of these guys. <laughs> he was. He That's was pretty power. upset about it. So hole number nine, two hundred and twenty foot par three. Um, it's a slight left to right, right <laughs> along the railroad tracks, and uh, it's a pretty, we bring you pretty breaking, deceptive hole. We bring you breaking news, guys. Yeah, uh, you know. we want to talk about the important stuff here <laughs> in another round production. We got wind of this one thing that happened. Yeah, <laughs> very solid shot, right under the basket. Uh, this all right. So this hole, it's got a pretty steep little slope on the left. Uh, a lot of junk to the right because they don't normally play this hole. Like, you yeah. know, it's not a it's not a full course. It's thick. Yeah. So if you don't hit this gap, it, it, you're gonna have a tough time getting the bird. Yeah. But you got to get the bird on this hole. D ringer from Ryan. What was it like? Two hundred. Two twenty. Two twenty. A lot of these guys ended up on that right side. That looks good. Yeah. Ooh, a little long, friendly. but that's going to be great. Friendly. Let's see if Ryan can dial another one in. Oh, so close. He doesn't even jump from outside the circle. You know, he's got enough float and power that you know, Mitch, he's in that thick stuff you were talking about, just, just had a pitch out. Yeah, it's tough, but you, know, you kind of do it to yourself, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. You got to make that putt. Yeah. That's too bad. Nate giving us a little dance in the background, excited about Barry's putt. Ryan tapping it in. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I'm trying to come up with some funny pun, <laughs> but it's, I can't come up with it. And It's a really weird situ situation. Yeah. Honestly, like... Hey, did you ever think you'd be distracted by farts? I, in a it's, it's, tournament? Not, like, <laughs> it's not something you really expect. And so Barry <laughs> with a lone birdie, and uh, that's surprising. That's a pretty straightforward hole like most of the holes out here. It is. It's just a tight tunnel shot, though, yeah. um, with a little bit of trouble around the hole. So 
Barry getting a little lead there too. So yeah, that, that was quick. Yeah, that was quick. Now, hole number ten cool. is a four hundred and twenty-one foot par three, slightly downhill. Just got to throw it down there and get through the crepe myrtles at the end, and uh, it's a cool little green. You want to keep it low, but the problem with keeping it low is you can really hit that curve. Yeah, and really stop you. Again, nothing's out of bounds here, but that's that's what will stop you from the birdie. The birdie is a really good score. And yeah, we were getting a solid amount of wind on this hole. And, you know, that yeah, happens. Yeah. About, a, about a 50 footer, he's outside. You get to about 360 and then hit the road, you're going to flare hard. It's a talent oh, yeah, for Ryan. A little high. <laughs> and Ryan actually, on this hole, landed on the tee pad for the next hole where sorry, the second sorry. card was. Oops. They were not fans because he did not yell four. So. I mean, you can't even see him, can you? No. Well, you know, you know they're there. Mitch, getting up in the trees, but. It's a little lucky. Right in the middle. <laughs> it's true. It's right in the middle. Let's see if Nate can. That do looks some like a magic. good line. Damn curve, got you pretty, again. I think I'm pretty much. <laughs> oh, and there's Ryan's disc. They couldn't find it. I found it first. <laughs> Oh, Schwebby uh, was not a fan. That was his way of uh, giving Ryan a warning shot. Don't throw at me. That's pretty good. <laughs> so, did you, they really did they, they, they were looking for it for like 30 seconds, and I was walking straight to it laughing with my camera. Here's the random clump. <laughs> uh, Trust me, Ryan wanted to be closer too. Yeah. Nice little upshot from Mitch. Mitch had to get in there. Pulls a little outside of his range. I mean, from that curve, it's like 45 feet or so. Yeah. Not even a good run from Lance. It's kind not of really. Good. I'm not sure. You expect a little bit better of a run. I'm not sure what was going on. Or and that's another big one. Yeah. So that's two holes in a row where Barry's getting one on the group. Yeah, and he's getting a, getting some applause from the top of the gallery up <laughs> nice. there on the top of the Parking deck. That is interesting about this hole. The hole number uh, seven actually tees off over the top of this basket. It does. But it doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. You're so far below it, it just doesn't even come into play. So, Barry taking the lone birdie and... Um, a little separation here. Yeah, he's starting to gain a little bit of a lead. Two, two strokes. I mean, that's a lot for Barry on this type of course where you must birdie everything. It is. It is. There's not too much danger either. So, Mitch no. is going to have to get a little bit on a little, little roll here. Yeah. And hole number 11 is a 212-foot par 3. There is OB right. If you get into the parking lot where the cars are on the right of the basket, um, that is out of bounds. And it's only probably about 15, 20 feet off the tee, off the basket. This course is really – it really teaches you to know your OB rules yeah. because when you know that, you can play it right there. Yeah. And slide it up. Yeah. And there's also a cash points right there. So if you need a little cash while you're playing the game, <laughs> the tournament – Big Germ, there was actually a really good picture of him a couple years ago at that cash point. Like getting somebody in the middle yeah. of the round? Yeah. He probably somebody. just did it just to do it. Like he didn't even need money. <laughs> Sounds like some German did. I, maybe he needed money back then. <laughs> Z zone from Rye. Yep. Good skip up on the hill. He's going to have a good easy putt. Ooh, a little left. Big flare. He got leafed. Iron leaves. I don't expect those on the ground. Hey, you got our... Oh, that's an unfortunate roll from Nate. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. I figured all of them would kind of, you know, be within 20. Yeah. Good run from Mitch. Man, Mitch can putt. Yeah. Very, very consistent player and putter. See what can do. Yeah, Ooh, sneak it in. He didn't look happy with it, but I'm sure that was a big, big point of round for him. Yeah. Solid birdie from Ryan. Handicap parking. <laughs> kind of did it on purpose. I think it's really, I think it's really funny. I, I just enjoy the fact that this course is the way it is. There's so many things happening because it's against everything I would ever want to do as a course designer, but it works because of what they do. They shut the whole place down. For it is. It's it's gimmicky, but in a really fun way. And, you know, nobody wants to take takes this super seriously. Yeah. It is a PDJ right around, but you know, when Barry shows up, it's like all right. Yeah. And Mitch losing another stroke. Um, 
he's kind of having a tough run here. I don't even think he's losing a stroke, man. Like he's he hasn't birdied any of the last three. Yeah. But Barry's gotten those three, and two of them are tricky holes. Yeah. And the hole number twelve is one hundred ninety eight foot par three, left to right. Um, pretty yeah. straightforward. Once yeah. again, these are all pretty birdieable holes. Yeah. Pick pick your side. Yeah. No out of bounds. Nope. And uh, uh, it's it's tough because it's blind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've seen that ridge in the play earlier a few yeah. holes ago. Same yeah, kind Barry. of thing. Oh, oh, oh. And Barry hitting the pole with that AVR there. He's got two solid. basket hits here. Yeah. He's hunting them. I think that's an A3 or Firebird from uh, Lance. Zone. zone, I'm sure. Yeah, that's that flag zone he loves. Heck of a run. Going the any route, okay. Good run. Beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see if Mitch can go. Give it a good run. Yeah, I think so. Be a little right. Wow, that's uncharacteristic. Yeah, he's been struggling with the putter during this first <laughs> half of the course. And Mitch. Oh, buddy. What was the temperature out there? Do you remember? It was not too bad. I mean, there's t-shirt and maybe maybe some long pants. 50s, 60s. I think I was wearing shorts and t-shirt, so the 50s. Well, you're that kind of guy that does that 40s, in 20 degree 30s, weather. 30s, something yeah. like that. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate for Mitch. Wow. You were just bragging about his putting. He is a good putter, though, man. Solid just because you miss a couple eight. doesn't mean you're a bad putter. Yeah, I know. It just means you miss a couple. Yeah. Lance getting the par. Mitch's unfortunate bogey. That hurts on this course. I mean, it hurts right there because yeah. of that. Yeah, it's a two-stroke swing. You know, he he just lost three, out of, you know, three strokes and three holes, and now he's lost five and four holes. I yeah. mean, Barry's going to win this tournament. Yeah, Barry's taken away some pretty much. Uh, so you guys can uh, tune into another <laughs> <laughs> five, five four strokes. You never know on this course, though. There's a lot of uh, island holes up ahead, and uh, they can really bite you. Hole number 13, 500-foot par four. Uh, uh, this is a cool one. Yeah, this is pretty. They call it rail gun right down the railroad track. OB left of the railroad track, and uh, there's some big Christmas trees and uh, magnolias up there that you can get into. I remember, uh, I think, Marty filmed this one year, and – he got someone getting an eagle on this hole. I think it was Schwebby putting a roller. Yeah, Schwebby put a roller down. And, uh, and then hit like a 25, 30 footer. Speaking of roller, pro Starfire. Oh, yeah. A little too much up, angle. Hooked up a little early, yeah, but that's fine. He's only good. about 50, 60 feet off. It's kind of tough, you know. How often do you throw a roller on the road? So. You know, it's going to slide a little bit before it catches, and then it's going to catch. So that angle is really, really delicate. Yeah. Kind of like that. Ryan throwing a nuke. He's probably about 150, 200 out. Pretty easy up and down. Yeah. yeah same kind of thing, 150, yeah. 200 out. He's getting a good yeah, little, little flex. A little better. Yeah, he'll have a little pitch up. All these guys throwing well over 400 feet. Oh, yeah. Lance, I'm one, I was that. ready. I was ready to see this. Pulling out that forehand. You heard the grunt, too. Yes, it's flexing. <laughs> and he is That's a way master. down there. Lord. That's a... He is way That's down a, there. He yeah. is going to have a putt. I heard someone say, good lord, and that is true. Yeah. And Mitch. Get in that a little wide. I hope he stays out of those bushes because that is rough. Oh, yeah. I've been there before. Yeah, he's right up in the bushes, and, you know... If it's, he's a little shorter guy. He's gonna. That's gonna come into play for him. Yeah, it is. He had to put it up a little higher. That's a surprising shot there. You know, you'd think you'd see. I don't know what you see. No, that's got, about all you can do, I guess. He got curbed. Ryan, little early. I think he'll be okay. All these guys throw so far. It's just kind of. If you get past those bushes, it's just kind of a technicality. Good run from Barry. This is a better, probably advanced level par four. Yeah, it is a pro level par four, but. There's nothing wrong with that. No. An eagle ball par four is always fine. Nate putting it right up there. And Mitch inside the circle. Air ball. I mean, and that piece that of That is Lance Brown's drive. Is that out of bounds? feet from the basket. No. Oh, thank God. And, and that is a it. solid eagle from Lance On Brown. On an air shot. Yeah, 500 foot air shot forehand. He probably threw it 480, 485. 
I that's mean, that's, that's there's so no cool. elevation change there. That's flat ground. That's pretty neat right there. That's neat. It's all birdie from Ryan. I Mitch can't stop looking at this artwork. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mitch cleaning up his or a par, and uh, the rest of these guys putting down some birdies. And oh, that's a well-deserved uh, eagle. Eagle, right eagle. there, and as he jumps up. Yeah, up he's the up box. in the second place. He yeah. just jumped Mitch. Um, Nate has caught Mitch as well, and Ryan's sneaking up there as, as well. And there's a lot of birdies to be had on the tail end of this course. So yeah, there are. Hopefully Mitch can turn it around and start getting a lot of birdies. So. For <laughs> Hole number 14, 400, or 320 feet. Uh, just kind of want to get over those hedges. It's a little right-hand, backhand flex shot over the bushes. And there's a lot of skip going on down there because it's on that big asphalt. Yeah, it's hard to put this one close just because of that. And Lance trying to go up and over. Dude, you might as well. Go big or go home, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see it. That hurt my disc. Oh, yeah, I just heard it. it just, <laughs> kapow. There's the more conventional route. Barry throwing something pretty stable, just kind of putting the flex out there, and he I, should have a good putt. I've always struggled with the shape of this hole. It, it's a really, really weird hole. Yeah. It just doesn't line up the eye too well. Oh, not that much. Is that a tracker or something? A little bit. I don't know if that's a should tracker. It might be a firebird. If he had thrown his really stable tracker, it would have. Falling in the trees over there a lot. True. Does that not look like Kale every time yeah. he throws? Oh, Nate catching the sign. He's having some bad Farts, luck here. Signs, curves. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, it wasn't like uh... farts, signs, and curves. That's gonna be the name of this. Video. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> he is getting some bad farts. luck. Farts, curves, signs, and curves. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just throwing a jump shot, out. and he just got hit by the ambulance in the middle of his putt. Farts, <laughs> curb, signs, ambulance, you know, heart attack, like, you name it. He's got it going on right now. We got a t-shirt in the making. Ryan with a solid up shot. Mitch as well, just kind of laying it up there. They're all afraid of that, uh, oh, yeah. afraid of that slide away we were talking about earlier. If you're not there, you don't. Here you go for it. You know, this is a making yeah. the putt, so you might as well. And that jump putt, he just has that jump putt dialed in. It's a straddle jump out too. Yeah. Which is a little unique. Uh, Lance is solid par safe. My bad. Farts. Curves. Yeah, Mine as well. And Barry knocking down another birdie. Yeah, it's over. You know, here's the other thing though. Uh, I don't know how far the second card was. Yeah, Schwebe was uh, Schwebe was kind of keeping up with him, and uh, I believe he played. A, he was playing a pretty hot round that second round. So he was going into it, they were all yeah, within. And two. there are some island holes coming up, so they are going to come into play. And, uh, Barry taking the lone birdie, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good bird. That's a fun one. 20, 26 under through two rounds, and hole fifteen is two hundred and twenty four foot par three. Double double, double double Mando or triple triple Mando? Oh, true. Yeah, you can't go over the no, top. Double triple Mando, it's two triple Mandos. You still can't throw over the top of the first one. Yes, that's true. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta hit the gap. Oh boy, you just gotta hit and the gap. Like, Barry didn't do it. I didn't do that, Barry. You just have to hit the gap. Yeah. I mean, a three. He didn't listen uh, to you. Ooh, he's gonna ooh. get that little cart slide, cart path. Yes. What do you mean out of bounds? He was playing. He was he was making bad jokes because he's Lance Brown, D ringer right. from Ryan. Uh, right. He caught the wall as well. Both of those guys didn't miss the man. Better to hit the wall than yeah, yeah than miss the man completely. Nate, he's getting up there. He'll have a, he'll have a right. good putt. Thanks. The thing about this hole is you actually can go long and get behind that crepe myrtle and not have a putt at all. But again, we I've talked about Dave earlier, but our buddy Dave George uh, in a Marty hit, video in a Marty video hit a nasty putt through the cream myrtle. Yeah. So, um, big but it's out. death back there. Big shout out to Big Wave Dave. Yeah, you'd be hearing you guys might be hearing a lot more of him on some commentary coming up. So yeah. we're looking forward to it. Uh, that's Ryan got a little flex out. He's gonna have a he's gonna have that crepe myrtle come into play. It's not what you want for your shot. Yeah. Good putt. Yeah, solid putt from Mitch. Getting getting back on track. Is he putting with Novas? Yes. Yeah. Solid putt from Nate as well. Nate's been playing very well. He's, he's playing well. He's quietly he's, playing well for all the bad luck he's had. And he's not scoring well, but he's playing well. Yeah. And Barry saving the par. He doesn't miss those, dude. No. 
It's it's sickening. <laughs> Ryan's got a tough look there. Make it. Ooh. Ooh. That is an unfortunate roll. You see a Lance going out. Yeah, down. Lance trying yeah. to. There it's you a go. good putt. I mean, yeah. even from that short, that's a good putt because that, that's a tight gap. You never want to hear that. Good putt. Yeah, it's a four, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lance knocking down a birdie. Marked. So, and a little Lance scoring and Nate, separation there. Yeah. But. Lance and Nate. And Ryan kind of falling back there. Uh, he was he was making a little bit of a push, but Barry's got a little bit to spare, so. Yeah, not but too bad. Nate has called up to Mitch. So there's a lot of there's a good lot call. of. Uh, a lot of battle going on there for second place. Hole number 16, 266 foot par three. They're pretty much just throwing over these first crate myrtles and then big right to left um, just before you get to the facility over there. I think that's Town Hall. Oh, this hole. It's right, giant spike high there. <laughs> yeah. You see that a lot. They used to throw from the other side of the road and just kind of a little straight shot, but now they're throwing up over the top of everything. It's a tough hole if you don't have the distance. Which all these guys do. Uh, yeah, I think you, at this level, you do. They're all kind of hanging it out wide and getting caught up in the trees. So you want to go a little bit more left than what they're yeah. doing? Like yeah, that. you want. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened now? And this is the negative about this. A lot of people don't know that's going on. Uh, Just got random people walking through the course. It'd be funny if it was like my mom. I've never seen this footage, and my mom's like having her like, little stroll. Yeah, and it's not. Mitch was kind enough to let her live. Oh, boy. That's a quick way to get a course taken away. <laughs> yeah. well, did he just slam it in the building? He would, He almost did. He <laughs> got over there. And, uh, Jimi Hendrix is teeing it up. Barry throwing the big spike. He gets everybody just kind of holding it out wide. I guess that's a safe play. Yeah. Firebird from nine. That's the shot you want. Yeah, right crazy. over the top of the basket. He'll be parked. Solid run by Nate. This little stall shot. And another thing, this is a very popular <laughs> Pokemon Go out place. There are literally Pokemon Goers walking around. They had to put up signs oh, saying, wow. do not Pokemon Go here. I don't think that's a thing anymore. It apparently is in Cary, North Carolina. No, like oh. now. It was there in this tournament. That was a great run. run from Mitch Dickens. Yeah, it was one of those fads. Or I, was, I think that looked like no Pokemon, as in, like, they're not here. We've already looked. <laughs> you know? I don't think it said no Pokemon playing. <laughs> Good run for Lance. And 5-0. Uh, I mean, Lance decided to start running. And <laughs> next thing you know, Mitch did. And Ryan's, Ryan just wanted to follow along because he wanted to be cool. <laughs> Look at that. Watch it. Don't miss it. Dude. They were all trying to clean up for uh, so Barry could putt. So solid birdie from Ryan. <laughs> That's how you get in Barry's head right there. You kind of get the fast motion. The <laughs> I, oh, I'm not sure what just happened, guys. Hey. Barry just laying it up. Did we really film that? We did because they were putting. They just really wanted to go catch Charmander. Yeah. <laughs> Charizard. You know? So, yeah, see? <laughs> after hole 16, Ryan go, taking go, the lone go, birdie. Go, uh, you know, still a tight battle there for a second place. And um, don't Pokemon Go here, guys. No, don't do it. And hole number 17 is a 254-foot par 3 island hole stroke and distance. Uh, you have to land on the other side of the hedges or over the curb. And it gets really tight up there by the basket. Where's the landing zone? There's, by the basket? Yeah, by the basket. Or there's yeah. kind of a dump off to the right. If you dump short right, okay. you're pretty good. That's kind of a stupid question on a 250-foot yeah. hole. But. Tracker from oh, Ryan. Oh, oh, oh. And he gave it a good run. He's going to have about a 15, 20-footer. He spooked it. Yeah. I guess it's a really straightforward hole, though. Yeah, I'm not sure what Lance is throwing. Oh, I like it's it, a though. Good run. Huh. Really? Oh, oh. A little long. He'll have about a 20-footer coming back. With a death putt, too. Yeah. Is it stroke and distance even if you yes. make that? Okay. Uh, I don't know if it is over there or not. What the hell, man? Oh. And Be Lance, so bad it's good. Lance just let his rock three out a little early. and. Uh, you mean uh, Nate? Uh, Nate, I'm sorry. No, they, they're wearing similar outfits. Yeah. They got and a similar then, uh, build. So. Maybe. Mitch got up over the hedges. He's going to have a putt.
Barry's worried about it. He should be. A little short. Does uh, that bring uh, Schwebby into play? I mean, Schwebby's shooting hot. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's where I'd be worried about right now if I'm Barry. Like, okay. And Nate throwing through. Oh, no, you're oh, kidding me. He gets the light pole. Let's add that to the list of Are things. You, dude, what? I feel like Lil John. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. And Barry's worried about this one, too. He just managed to hold on there in the corner. Whoa. And so Nate's got to throw again from here. He does have three throws, and then he goes to a drop zone. So if he misses again, he goes to a drop zone, and he, missed again, dude. he got hedged. So, so he's out of bounds again. We've got fart, hedge, curb, ambulance, light, light sign. pole, sign. Yeah. So we got six unfortunate and bounces. Nice little layup from him. He's going to take his, um, yeah. leaves an eight. Nice bid from Lance. He was he approved of himself. It's a tough line for Mitch. Yeah, Mitch's got a tough one. Good run though. And uh, yeah, the only looks thing like done Barry's different. lined up a lefty putt. He is. Look at this. If that goes in. Oh. The only thing I was thinking Mitch could have done different is maybe go to a knee, but maybe yeah. he was from a knee down there. Also, that, that bush would get in your way if you were from a knee. So Ryan's got about True. a 15, 20-footer pick up another stroke on the card. Yes, it does. Solid butt. Now, one thing Nate Tomlinson did say during this tournament, and it was before all this happened to him, so I find this really interesting. He said – he was talking to Ryan after a bad break for Ryan. He said, if you can't handle some BS in a tournament – like you don't need you stuff. don't need to be playing this you don't need to be playing this course because a lot of weird stuff can happen out here. So he like called his own fate. Yeah, <laughs> Barry. That's too bad. Uh, taking a bogey. Uh, still got a five stroke or four stroke lead on Lance and uh, Nate. That's just unfortunate because he was playing pretty well. He was right there with Lance and uh, he was. He's been playing fine. And hole number eighteen, another island another hole, one hundred and three feet, tiny little green, probably only twenty feet. Super raceable. radius. Yeah, super raceable. Um, stroke and distance once again. You got to be able to drop this one like on a dime here. It's not a demanding hole at all. And we this do one. have two cameras on this one as well. You got to go out there and, uh, you know, if you've never played this hole, you got to go play it just to kind of gauge that distance. And Ryan, getting fortunate, got through the tree yeah. and onto the green. Yeah, if he'll get that meter, he'll be fine. This is an A3 from Lance. This should be good. Oh, oh that's close. Not. What's your call, Pat? I don't know. That looks pretty close. Uh, we're going to go with a provisional here and see what happens. So Lance throwing a provisional. I think that first one was out. And he's just an easy tap in if he gets it. So he's either going to get a four or have an easy putt for a two. So we'll see. Mitch going big spike. That's a fun shot there. And right next to the basket. Great shot. It's not like it, you have big skip potential here, and too. It's Barry is throwing a grenade. Yep. Up and over the top. Oh. Look at that and camera he work. Almost splits the basket. I think he went half. Through. <laughs> yeah. That was a great job picking up that uh that disc on a grenade. Yeah. Was not expecting it very much. And nice little Annie. That's good. that's a lot of touch. And he does manage to stay in, so it's so soft. Oh uh, actually, I don't know. That's odd, dude. It's man, that's odd, dude. It is It's close. Is he got a credit card or anything on him? I can't. Oh, oh. Looking directly over, I can't oh, see any bricks. So close. Oh, this was oh the closest gosh. call I've ever seen. It depends guys. on what straight above it is. I mean, I've been straight above it. It's good. Anybody got a credit card or anything? Yeah, I think he's gonna hit it. I think he's good. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, you touched it. Good to go. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. lord. That showed that he was in bounds. He picked a black. A hair. So he will be putting for two. Man, I'm a jerk. I'd have called him out. <laughs> <laughs> it was right. a lot closer from the angle. If you look directly above it, it was so hard to tell. Right. So solid birdie from Lance and the closest call I've ever seen on an OB. So were you filming the catch cam here? Or yes, was I was. Okay. So were they trying to ask you if you – Yeah, I just threw my hands thought. up. I was like, I don't know. Because I wanted them to throw the provisional. So I felt like that was the best play. 
So star frame here. Star frame from the car. So that's the first star frame of the round, I believe. Which is shocking. Yeah. On a course. There's a lot of so a lot of weedies out there just mm -hmm. missing that one that one person missing. <laughs> that's what we call it now. Yeah. The guy so who it's a weedy. Frame. It's a weedy. Yeah, a weedy. A little piney point reference. <laughs> and so after hole eighteen, all birdies and nice. uh I, I really can't t describe to you how close that – I mean, you saw it on film, how close that OB call was. Battle for second, really. Yeah, now. hole 19, 235-foot par 3. Uh, it's just a big right-to-left shot. Uh, there's a wall directly behind the basket. And uh, if you get up against that wall, it can be really tough because you, you can't get relief off the wall. Oh, because it's not out of bounds. Yeah. All right. Good, good point. A zone from Ryan. Giving that little kick in the back. Another spike hazard. This reminds me of a hole earlier. Yeah, he's right nice. under the basket. He's playing hot. He's buried the last several holes. He's playing hot. Ever since the triple mando. A3, I believe. Or maybe it was a firebird from Lance. Yes, sir. He's right up there. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. And Mitch, line up beforehand with the firebird. Line drive here. Yeah, he got caught up in those limbs. Unfortunate. You don't see a straight on shot like that too often on this hole. Yeah. Big spike from Barry. Ooh. Ooh. Right under the basket. He's giving he, a lot of He's ace hunting, runs. isn't he? Yeah, he, he is, is hunting. And they. Ace season is on. <sighs> he hit the wall oh, and then the pole happened. and it rolled. Yeah. The wall pole rolled? Yeah. Dude, he's going to find a new way. <laughs> he landed. I mean, luck. he hit the pole probably. Like the pole of the. Yeah, probably 15 the rail feet. There? Yeah, 15 feet from the basket, and now he has this. And there he's there. Jesus. Dude. But. I mean, oh! oh yeah. Solid butt from Nate. That's one way to get your break. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah, I mean. That's earned. Yeah. Unfortunate breaks for him, but man, that was a great putt. Very. The wall almost came into play for him, but I remember when I when I wanted to skateboard, when I thought I was a skateboarder back in the day, trying to grind that rail. <laughs> it did not work. My face is probably hit where that basket is. It's on the blooper reel on YouTube if you can find it. Oh, it's it. somewhere, that's for sure. Lance tapping in the birdie, so and Mitch just gonna finish out his par. He just has struggled on this back nine or back ten. He has too, and it's it's unfortunate because he started off pretty hot. Yeah. Like, I mean, wasn't he like five under through five holes? Yeah. At the beginning of this round? So. And so Mitch taking the lone par and uh, just falling back a little bit. Ryan sneaking up on him. Only one stroke back. Yeah, Ryan's got a chance there. Yeah, no question. And hole number 20 is a uphill, left to right, 235 foot par three. Uh, kind of a hill. false front pat, fast green on the front there uh, with the ivy bank. And uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward. I this think it's Amanda that forces you to the left side yes, of the tree. Yes, of that light pole, not the tree. Oh, the light pole, I'm sorry. Light pole there, yeah. You can kind of throw between the light pole and the tree. Short. Short's okay, yeah, though. Yeah, he's short. He's probably about 20 feet. It's a tough 20-footer uphill. Mm -hmm. It really is. The elevation is no joke uh, at the green. Yeah. Lance. Not big forehand. Ooh, oh, he'll probably man. be about 15, 10 feet. That's an easy putt. Nice shot. And backhand is actually really difficult on this hole. Yeah. He's just going right up no. the middle over the top. No. I'm not sure he did what he no. wanted to do. I think he was trying to put it more left no. and kind of flex it in. He's going to about But with everything, you know. Yeah. He's got this is good. a victory lap right here for, for Barry. Yeah. He's, He's got, got a pretty good lead. lead. Backhand. Nothing fancy. It doesn't need anything fancy. 15 feet. Let's put it right there. Yeah, that was, that might, if he hits that putt, he'll be able to keep Ryan away. So. Right, let's see what Kel LaVisca can do. Air ball, unfortunately. That van, dude. Yeah, it was a van. Something else. Solid putt, Barry. This is a good putt. He didn't even throw it well. I mean, he capitalized. Yep. Ryan knocking down the birdie. It's, it's always good to finish with the birdie. Yeah. You know, any I like starting with the birdie, I like finishing with the birdie. Yeah. That way, you know. Lance as well. Sets the tone. And 
Nate finally getting out of this unlucky round. <laughs> yeah, he's probably happy to be done with it. And Mitch getting the tap in to keep Ryan at bay. So, you know, that'll give him a little bit more cash. It's a fun card. Fun yeah. to watch. That's fun. Our winner, Barry Schultz. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So, Barry with the birdie, you know, took – Got really hot there at the end. Not too bad for shooting two rounds on a course he's never played before. He shot another 14 under for the for the second round, too. So, yeah. you know, that was leading. He knew he was going to beat Schwebe. Yeah, right and Schwebe made a big push. He started at, I believe, 10 or 11 under par, and uh, he shot the hot round that second round and came back up and managed to tie for second. I mean, look at that. On that leader there, you know, you had Chase, Chase Jernigan. Yeah, Chase Jernigan and made a big he push He had a really well. good push, so. Uh, three out of the top five weren't even filmed there, or uh, two out of the top five weren't even filmed. Yeah, so a um, lot, a lot of movement down there, and uh, you know, thank you very much to Cary Area Disc League for letting us uh, come out and film, and such a cool tournament. I, I just, it, it, just an experience to play that kind of event. When you get a chance, you know, I know it fills up in like twenty minutes or less. Uh, try it, play it, get in there. If you can't do it, play doubles down there. Yeah, and they, it's, it's a blast. Bring some extra plastic because, you know, as you saw, there's a lot, a lot of road that comes into play. It'll chew your discs up. There's no, no question about that. Yeah, and they do have doubles the day before that you can go out there and play. Uh, they raise money for the Recreation Relief Foundation with Cary Parks and Recreation and uh, doing a lot of good things up there in Cary and the Raleigh area. So really looking forward to see what comes out of that of the triangle in the next couple of years. Absolutely. But uh, that's it for us, guys. Uh, thank you all for listening. We'll hopefully have you some more stuff coming out here to keep you busy in the winter. And uh, hope to catch you next time when we bring you another round.